Hello everyone to another Catan base game video on colonist.io and to my road to top 500 series. Um, before I start, I would like to say that I'm sorry for the mistake yesterday. I uh, published, uh, I mean the last two videos were swapped uh, date wise. So the chronological order doesn't make a lot of sense there. Uh, it was basically that I published the Friday's video, oh, sorry, Saturday's video on Friday and um, so yesterday I published the another video. Uh, my think that should be alright and uh, now let's take a look at the board. So I am in the fourth position here. I think black surely goes for 693 um, or 8510. So based on this board I think um, black can go for 693, red can go for uh, 8510 and Maybe 843 is left open for me. Well, black here goes for 659. Uh, that's pretty good for me. Uh, make sure that I will have one of these two spots open. High overweight spots. But in any case, I don't think 694 will be left open for me. Maybe I can get a setup like 8510 or 834. Yeah, as expected, 693 is not open for me. So based on these placements, I think I will have to go for a setup like um, I like 8510. Surely that's a good uh, place to build few roads. Um, if I want to play a road building game and I also have proximity to the sheep port and because I have that I think I will I would like to go for something like 6311 uh, increase my sheep production and, and um, I can also point to the right build on 910 increase my wood production but I think going towards the sheep port would make more sense in that case just wondering if anything else makes more sense. Um, here I can go for something like 834, 834 and point upwards and build towards the 63 tile. The only issue with that is maybe black goes for 63 directly uh, and might cut me off from my overproduction spot and then I will be left with a pity a uh, disappointing game. That said, I think it's a risk worth taking here. I can also place on 845, but that doesn't help me too much, especially because I don't think I'll be getting the wheat port. On the other hand, I can place on 845 and 9102. And most likely the 52 spot will be open for me. So I think I like that setup the most at this point uh, and I will surely go for it. This way if I get a little lucky with a few early uh, roads, I can also go towards the 6-3 tile, increase my ore production. The downside of this setup is if a red goes for 8-10, then I will be left with uh, a pretty dismal setting but I think my road building would be a uh, road building ability would be strong enough to help me reach 6-3 and also 8-3 yeah I think uh, I will go for that I know it's a risk but I think it's a risk worth taking here <coughs> Now orange most likely goes for something like 834, getting a very strong OV cheap setup. Mm. 
Wow. Orange here goes for 8-3. I did not expect that at all. Because Orange could have had a excellent or wheat sheep game by just going on 8-3-4. They would have double over, double wheat and double sheep. I think now red goes for 8-3-4 here. Or maybe 6-3-11 if they want to focus a little. Wow, red also goes on 8-10. So, based on these placements, I think now black will have a very, very strong game. Black has the entire board open for expansion here. My only hope here is black first rolls a 7 and steals from red. Not sure what black is thinking about. Yeah. Okay. Goes for 3, 4, 3, 11. Rolls a 3. So red will be able to cut me off and build towards the wheat port now. But I don't think it's the worst case scenario for me yet. As I've said, I can still build towards 6-3. And now I think I can also build towards 6-3-11. And uh, I think I will just do that here. Yeah, I don't think red should have placed on 810. Their wheat production isn't uh, strong enough to justify going towards the wheat port, especially because they don't even produce any sheep now. So getting dev cards will be difficult. I think black will have a pretty easy game here. These early 10s are pretty good for me. Let's see if I can get any brick. I don't think anybody has any brick because 8 hasn't rolled. So based on that, I'll just end my turn here. A two rolls that does give me the brick that I'm looking for. So if a eight or a two rolls, I will be getting my settlement on the six, three tile. And I think that would put me in a pretty strong position. Black does a 4 is to 1 and just holds on to their card. Another 9 is rolled here. So. so let's see if I can get any trades. If this trade goes through, I will be able to get a settlement. I might be willing to offer a 2 is to 2 as well. about a 2 is to 2 this way. Yeah, seems like nobody is accepting anything over there. At this point, I don't have much option. Just build a road and end my turn. So now black is in a very, very strong position after getting a settlement on 8-4. So far, no 8s have rolled. That's a little unfortunate for me. Plays a knight uh, and steals from me. Wow. A 5 rolls. I would have been able to get a settlement. Unfortunately, I am blocked here. Let's see. I think uh, red might be able to give me a ore here. Red does want a sheep and doesn't have any sheep in hand. So I'll just accept it and uh, get a dev card. Rolls a 7. I think black would now target the 8 brick and probably steal from me. Uh, steals from red. I don't mind that. And black gets a dev card too. 
Wow, that was the first eight of the game, but not able to get any cards for it. Here I will play my knight uh, because I do want a break. And I think I will target black for sure. Black seems to be in a pretty strong position. Uh, let's see if I can get any trade for an ore or a wheat. Either one of these trades will help me get my settlement. I can even offer a 2 to one at this point. Yeah, seems like nobody is willing to accept anything. So I'll just end my turn. Uh, although I know I'm ending it with 8 cards in hand. Wow, very unfortunate that immediately a 7 is rolled. And now I think black will target me because I did steal from black there. Targets orange, wow, I don't mind that at all. And gets another dev card. So seems like black did not have knight as their first dev card. Here I would love to see a 2 being rolled. That would give me my settlement. I think I can accept this trade. Uh, gives me the option of doing a 4 is to 1. Let's see if I can get 3 cards in return. Or maybe an ore. I wouldn't mind getting an ore and holding on to the cards. If not, I won't be accepting any trade. I don't mind if red has to do a 4 is to 1. Get, gets a dev card. That's completely all right. Black, uh, sorry, orange rolls a seven. Most likely is going to target me here. Yeah, does do that. Blocks the five wheat and steals from me. So that is kind of expected. Uh, orange gets a dev card though. I immediately roll a seven and I think I don't have much choice here but to block black. Here, let's see if I can get any trade. <coughs> uh, seems like I won't be getting it at this point, so I'll just end my turn. Again, the 8 brick is blocked, so I'm still hoping for a 2 to roll. I have been a little lucky. Uh, another 8 rolls here, and uh, yeah, I am stuck. Wow. It would have been a pretty good roll for me, but uh, very unlucky here. Black does a 4, sorry, red does a 4 is to 1, gets a city. So if orange continues to target me, it would be very unfortunate, but uh, yeah, now is targeting the right person for sure. Again, I know nobody has a break, so maybe I can get this trade. Yeah, red doesn't accept it, immediately rejects it. Uh, orange is asking for a 2 is to 1 and I think at this point I cannot accept it. I'll just end my turn. An 8 does roll, so that's pretty good. Now I do have a settlement in hand. Hopefully nobody targets me and I do not get 7 out. Now black is building towards a 3 to 1 port. Black will be in a very very strong position. Uh, three rolls uh, that doesn't give me anything, but um, once I get my settlement, I will be able to get something out of it.
let's see. Yeah, I will surely accept this trade. Getting an over is always a good idea for me, especially because I don't produce any right now. Uh, orange is taking some time to decide what they want to do. Gets a settlement here. That's all right. I roll a six, but at this point, I think I'll just build a settlement, and I might not go for another dev card here. I would want to hold on for a city. On the other hand, if I get something like a, a monopoly or a road building, that would be very very strong for me. Especially getting a road on something like, uh, especially getting a settlement on six three eleven or something will be very strong. So based on that, I think I will just go for. a dev card i do get a year of plenty so that's pretty good now i think the six or gets blocked and black will continue to target me yeah does do that here steals from orange i don't mind that wow so again i lose out on or now pretty unfortunate with the way these rolls are been going uh not much for me to do at this point so i'll just end my turn this game i will not have access to any 3s to 1 ports another six rolls here wow so previously i was losing out on ores and now i'm losing out on sorry bricks and now i'm losing out on ores So now I think I can just get a city on 834 and that would be a pretty strong position for me I will accept I will go for that I can go for a dev card but um, I can go for a couple of dev cards but I think getting a city at this point is stronger so I'll just go for that option right now So now if I eight rolls I will be able to build a couple of roads. So in any case I would want to build on 6311 that seems to be a very very strong spot for me. And the reason why I built on 834 and not on 63 is because 63 will be blocked by both red and black whereas 834 might not be blocked by anyone except for black. let's see uh if i am able to get a settlement on if not 6311 i would at least want a settlement on uh 10311 let's see if i can get a 1 is to 2 here does accept it so now i need a couple of 10s or a 3 to roll couple of 10s or couple of 3s to roll and then plays a monopoly wow uh I wouldn't say it's a miscalculation on my part because he played a monopoly with the four breaks and is able to cut off uh, black there. Orange that does get the largest army and will target red. I think that's a good uh, choice here. at the very least i did get a oh, wheat out of that trade so although the monopoly was played at least i did get something out of it i think now i have to build more uh, another city on 63 not sure what my option is apart from that i can build towards the wood port or towards the wheat port but for that i think i just have to hold on to a few cards with six cards in hand i think i'll just go for a dev card um i'm not sure if i'm still fighting for the largest army but i do have the option here if i want to i might be able to get that
road building road building would have been a good uh, card for me especially because i am trying to stop red from getting to the wheat port another six rolls here so maybe i should get another dev card here or hold on to my cards just to get a city at this point i think i'll just go for another dev card hope that i get a monopoly or a road building i do get another knight so now i think i need to start fighting for the largest army as well especially because i do know that uh, red is now on 7 points and black is most likely on 6 points here wow red is targeting me so red is, is now just on 6 points i thought red had a victory point i was wrong unfortunately takes my over rolls a 7 so now i think will block the 5 wheat and again steal from me yeah looks like that's exactly what he is doing i will ask for a 1 is to 2 uh, 1 is to 1 doesn't make much sense for me um i might be willing to accept this this does give me another dev card here and i will be blocking red as well so i do get a wheat that's pretty good for me and here i think i'll just go for another dev card i get a victory point uh, i would have preferred a knight but victory point is in bad per se i roll an 8 when the 8 brick 8 wheat is blocked so that's pretty good from now on i wouldn't want to see any fives rolling this game because that's pretty strong for red red rolls a 7 so most likely he is going to steal from me i wouldn't want any of my cards to be stolen yeah but steal the break away and a 5 rolls so maybe if i get two cards i might accept it not doing a one is to one just yet so i do get a one is to two here i don't mind that and i think i will continue targeting red so i can get a couple of dev cards let's see if i can get any trade if i get any of these trades i will be able to get a city but at this point to be honest i think getting dev cards is a good choice i do get a road building so i might be able to connect my roads but i'm still looking for a knight so that i can get the largest army and that's why i will go for another dev card here i do get a knight so that gives me the option of unblocking the six later on in the game and also uh getting the largest army wow black plays a monopoly on or pretty strong monopoly there should be able to get at least a city and a dev card if needed so i think orange lost the most there um uh, yeah i was able to get 10 ores and orange i think had at least a uh, four a uh, five had also rolled recently so yeah another five rolls here
So I can get the largest army this turn. But maybe just going for the longest road would be an alright option. But at this point I think I might just hold on to these cards. I don't need to risk it. I do need to get another uh, VP or a city. Even if, even if I get both these. If any, maybe if I can get a sheep I might be able to build on the two spot. Although that doesn't seem to be a very strong option, it is still an option. Yeah, and because the 8 is already blocked, I don't think I need to play my knight. I will just play a road building. And uh, try and connect my settlements. And end my turn here. Maybe I could have built another road. Uh, but I don't think I need to do that just yet. And uh, maybe black is also trying to get the longest road here. So. Hopefully no sen is rolled. And 8 rolls here. Uh, so maybe I might be able to just win the game. If I am able to get a victory point. So let me just try there to get a victory point. But if I do that, I will surely lose out on the race too long. Race for, race for the longest road. Uh, I can actually get a city as well. So I can just. Oh, unfortunately, I was not able to pull an ore from red. Uh, ore would have given me a victory there by giving me a city but because I pulled a sheep I cannot do much I think I'll just go for a dev card I do get a year of plenty so in that case I will just try and secure my longest road and hold on to these cards and hopefully I am able to get a city in the next turn Two rolls that doesn't help black at all. Black was trying to build, connect their roads and uh, get the longest road. Yeah, does get a trade with uh, orange. So maybe is able to build the longest road here. If only I had, wow, black builds there, so most likely I should be able to win the game. Maybe not, if the 6 is blocked, I will not be able to do that. Block the 8, I don't mind that, so I just need a single 6 to win the game. 5 doesn't help me much and I roll a 8, wow, very unlucky with that uh, roll there. But at this point I think I'll just hold on to these cards, both the monopolies have already been played. So trying to get another victory point doesn't uh, seem like a good choice for me. So now I do have a victory in hand. Just need to make sure that black isn't able to build three roads. Yeah, black is asking for another road, but uh,
not sure how this is going to help uh, black black now has two bricks in hand yeah so everybody is collaborating against me but i think that's all right that needs to be done hopefully no sevens are rolled steals my wheat i don't mind that red does get a couple of victory points so red could be on nine points another 5 is rolled so now i think the 7 also would not make any difference yeah so i can just give away a brick and all my wheats and i can just get a couple of ores and build a city and win the game so Pretty strong game by me. I think the eights did help me, and also getting the uh, brick port was pretty good option. And luckily, I was able to connect my settlements. Uh, Black is saying that they almost had it. I'm not sure how because at best they are on seven points. Even if they had the longest road, they would be on nine. but that would make my game a lot more difficult and i think if black gets the long road red would win the game for sure oh uh, i was pretty lucky uh, getting two year of plenties and also a road building both of them helped me quite a bit so yeah pretty good game there for me and um, let's see uh, the resource stats the yeah, total resource income i think other than orange everybody had pretty strong resource income there i think orange and black uh, sorry orange and red both made a mistake by not going for 834 uh, especially orange i think orange could have easily won the game if they had gone for 834 or uh, going for 83 was surely a mistake according to me same thing by red i think uh, red could have gone for something like 6311 and had a better game uh but that's how it is sometimes um uh, i did propose quite a lot of trades and three of them did go through so that's pretty good for me amount of dev cards bought i i did buy quite a few dev cards by using my uh brick port and also used a lot resource income blocked i think red was blocked the most because of 8 and 5 being blocked by me quite a bit and uh, yeah i did use the most resources makes sense so overall pretty good game there for me uh so and feels good at least this is a back to back victory uh, as i said the video that i posted yesterday was for day before yesterday i just missed it let's take a look at the leaderboard now that puts me in uh, at 1359 and my rating is now also above 1500 for the first time so feels good to con to win back to back games and hopefully i can continue rising uh, and uh, please do subscribe to my channel uh, my that does give me quite a bit of boost uh, and motivation do like my videos and comment as well what do you think about the plays that i made or my opponent made and how i can improve anyway uh, bye for now and see you again in the next video bye bye